Hello, so what I'm going to show you here is a digital rather than analogue style way of taking x-rays. So first you can see the old-fashioned way of taking pictures on a phosphor screen. Uh, this isn't very good because you need a very dark room if you're not developing um, film, just taking a picture. And obviously you're exposing yourself to radiation as you take the picture. So here we have a digital way of doing it. So this is using an R2 sensor, and here you can see one of my fingers or thumb and a bone in it. Here you can see a blank pistol cartridge. I can't remember if this is a fired one or an empty one. It was just to test, you know, metal versus a blank background. Here's a inert 9mm. You can see where the bullet actually fits into the top of the casing head or cartridge head. Here's some earphones. You can see where the drivers are for the actual earphones with the coils and everything. Uh, I think they're in a little charging station. That's my finger one again, just with a different colour mode applied to it. I've imported a couple of these pictures twice, but oh well. And that's that one again. So you can easily see the shadow of the bone there using this mode. Here you can see sort of more of my fingers put together. Uh, much, much clearer obviously than using a phosphor screen. And again, more joints on my fingers. Obviously yes, I am exposing myself to a bit of radiation while taking these, but it was proof of concept to test it. Joints again. You can see here obviously just in different places, different contrast. Here's um, a Fitbit. So uh, that's um, basically the x-ray doing the circuit, all of the circuit board from you know front to back. Here's a magazine that's empty, as in a pistol magazine. And interestingly now, you'll see a pistol magazine that has cartridges in it. So you can see it double, spa uh, double stacked there with the um, spring completely compressed. Here's the circuit board in a remote control. So you can see there where like the buttons would be and all the soldering and everything. That's quite interesting. There's a telephone set with um, a battery in it, so the battery is actually the thing that's the most sort of solid to the x-ray. There's my toes actually inside a sock, so the sock's making a bit more fuzz on there, but it was interesting to see if it could go through. Here's a bit of the, my wrist bones, I've actually broken those before, so that was interesting to see. And then you also see my wrist in a second place here, um, you know, where like the ulnar and the radius join the wrist. So, I thought I was just...